Seen from space, the Earth is blue. Seawater covers 72% of Earth's surface, but only 2.5% of all water is fresh water. Although 2.5% of the water is fresh water, we have access to only 0.3%. Of these 0.3 percentages, 70% goes to agriculture, 20% to industry and energy, and 10% to households. All life on Earth depends on the water cycle. It is a human right to have access to water, but there are still more than 700 million people who are without adequate access to good water today. We humans are affecting the natural water cycle. We cut down the forest, draining marshes, cultivating land, regulate rivers and build cities. Climate change leads to a drier climate in some parts of the world and a wetter climate in other parts. The amount of rainfall in Norway has increased over the last hundred years and once it rains, it rains a lot. This trend increases the risk of flooding and poorer quality of the water. Scientists are therefore searching for greener solutions that can take away the heavy precipitation as the opening of rivers and smart infrastructure. The drains are also the subject of interest among researchers. In the wastewater, we find nutrients needed for agricultural use, including carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus. The world phosphorus reserves may vanish, therefore we must recycle and reuse every single phosphorus resource, also that found in wastewater. In the drainage system, we also find great opportunities to produce energy. The researchers do not look at sewage and sludge as problems, but as resources and opportunities. There is, therefore, plenty of opportunities for the green shift in fresh water and drains. The trick is to utilize these for the benefit of humans, as well as animals, and the environment.